Hi and welcome to Let's Talk. Padma Shri Dr. Philip Agassian is one of India's leading gastroenterologist and healthcare administrator. He is known all over the country and abroad for his expertise in gastrointestinal endoscopy and research in pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. So let's talk to the MD and CEO of Lakeshore Hospital, Padma Shri. Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Sir. How did the idea of setting up such a multi-specialty hospital come into the mind? See, I was practicing medicine in Kerala mm -hmm. for nearly 25 years okay. before I started the work on Lakeshore Hospital. Initially I was in a small town called Kutatulu. Mm -hmm. Then for 10 years I worked in Cochin. Mm -hmm. That was a time in the 90s and 2000s the technological advances in medical field rapidly happening yeah. and gastroenterology as a specialty had lot to gain mm. from the technological advances. An important thing was endoscopy, mm. then there was ultrasonography, CT scan, MRI scan all coming up and these facilities were lacking in our state. And some of the patients were even referred outside the state for these facilities in my practice. So I knew if we don't get this world class amenities, the practice of modern medicine in Kerala would suffer. So the idea of having a world class facility for modern medical treatment coupled with the availability of expertise made me think of and jump into such a uh, project. What makes Lakeshore Hospital different from other multi-speciality hospital in the city? Yeah, we, we take pride in saying that we are a little different. I am also a beneficiary of the technological advances. Yes. Even though I am not a radiologist, way back in 1984, mm -hmm. I went to USA and got trained myself in abdominal ultrasonography. Okay. That made a tremendous difference in the diagnostic possibilities of gastrointestinal yeah. diseases. So I wanted such similar world class facilities to come in. Okay. We have 33, 35 clinical departments. Most of them are headed by well known personalities. Yeah. And we could bring in technologies first time in the state hmm. ahead of other. Okay. For example, we were the first to do living donor liver transplant in Kerala. Okay. We were the first to insert uh, insulin pump in South India. Okay. We were the first to uh, do a joint replacement surgery with a material called uh, metal on ceramic mm. for the first time in the whole of Asia. And right from the inception I knew, I was watching the healthcare scenario around when I travel a lot mm. and we knew that there were uh, countries where the medical facilities and systems were failing. For example, the uh, National Health Service of UK mm. have a long waiting list yeah. and everybody knows about the American system. Now the new president is trying to revive the whole health care. Okay. So people have uh, insurance there but we thought you know all the Americans were covered by insurance. Mm. Only 40 percent, uh, about 40 percent of Americans did not have insurance to our surprise you know when I studied the scenario. So we knew people will come from overseas for treatment here. Yes. So we have these facilities and we are looking at new technologies coming in. Okay. Only the last week we introduced what is called uh, spyglass cholangioscopy and pancreatoscopy. That is an advanced endoscopic treatment system mm -hmm. for bile duct and pancreatic uh, diseases. You know, yeah. you can diagnose early mm -hmm. and even treat some cancers 
without surgery. Could you please tell us something about the world class facility that Lakeshore has? To call it in one word, this is a truly global health care facility we are offering. Mm -hmm. That includes the infrastructure, okay. looking at the rooms, the high end suites, and even a presidential suite for you know VIPs when they come for any uh, emergency treatment. We have uh, uh, facilities to treat them mm -hmm. with all facilities in the room itself. Okay. So that kind of facility we have. Uh, we have uh, different departments excelling mm. in their own field. Okay. So for example, in my department which is gastroenterology, we have the uh, facility of a world class gastroenterology mm. center okay. which includes an advanced endoscopy uh, department mm -hmm. which can uh, cater to the needs of people okay. with the latest technology. Mm. We have things like double balloon enteroscopy that is looking into the small intestine. Okay. It is a new introduction. Earlier people used to see the upper gastrointestinal tract with the gastroscope, mm -hmm. the lower tract with the colonoscope. A direct visualization of the 22 feet of intestine mm -hmm. was possible with the double balloon enteroscope. Okay. So we sent one of our senior gastroenterologists to learn this technique from the originator of this technique from Japan. Okay. So we implemented that for the first time. Also we have the wireless capsule endoscopy. Mm -hmm. For example, if there is an obscure bleeding inside, okay. you uh, swallow a camera the size of a big capsule okay. and the camera will work for 8 to 10 hours. Meanwhile, it will go and record the it? entire GI tract and transmit the images, okay. which you can later on put in the computer and analyze and find out and then go with the double balloon endoscope and tackle that. Mm. We have world class uh, molecular biology laboratory here okay. and an eminent specialist. Mm. This will cater to the needs of uh, hepatology patients mostly. Okay. Similarly, we have uh, for example, in uh, diabetic food care, mm -hmm. we have the latest technology here. Uh, we I, I told you we introduced for the first time the insulin pump therapy yes. in South India. Mm. The uh, uh, orthopedics department has a regenerative medicine department. Okay. You take out the cartilage from the patient, grow it outside the body mm -hmm. in tissue culture and uh, replace it back to the patient, you know. Okay. That kind of advanced system. Mm -hmm. We are the first to do uh, peripheral stem cell transplantation okay. for uh, cancer patients here. And we were the first to do split liver living donor transplant and we also do uh, a lot of kidney transplant mm. and we were the only third center in the world after Barcelona and Ahmedabad okay. to do kidney transplant by keyhole. Oh. It was not even done in US so far. So our specialists were specially invited to American Urological Association to uh, present their video okay. and they were honored recently how at Lakeshore you make sure that we are up to date or up to the technology that is currently in market. See there is a culture of inquiry, mm -hmm. enthusiasm and scientific knowledge cultivated among the faculty of Lakeshore. Okay. We have selected eminent people mm -hmm. who have this kind of attitude and we select a particular person to learn a technology mm -hmm. and bring it back to Lakeshore. Uh, we have uh, the, we have started the latest electrophysiology lab in cardiology okay. and the consultant was one of the best available in the country. So we could take uh, him into the fold you know. Mm -hmm. So similarly we are actually concentrating on technology, identifying people and send them to, to wherever it is best taught and bring back to Malaysia. You were talking about the cancer center or like the development in the cancer center area. So could you please brief about it? Yeah, we already have a very large oncology service here. Yes. And uh, we cater to adult and pediatric oncology. Okay. At present we have medical oncology, pediatric oncology and surgical oncology. Okay. Because of lack of space we have not been able to start radiation oncology. Okay. So that deficit is being corrected by a new block okay. which will the, the, the work will start soon. We hope to commission in 24 months time. Mm -hmm. That will house one of the 
leading cancer centers of the state, okay. bringing the latest technology. Of course, we are doing peripheral stem cell bone marrow transplantation. Here, the allogenic bone marrow transplantation. Uh, from others, you know, you take uh, marrow and transplant. And also the gamma knife and whatever, you know, uh, the latest, latest technologies and robotic surgery okay. would be incorporated into the new block. New block. The people around in Kerala, the lifestyle is changing very drastically. The way we eat, the way we behave in the society is creating <laughs> a lot of new disease. So, what Lakeshore is doing to help people to make their lifestyle normal or back to normal? Um, that is a very pertinent question you asked. Um, even though our, uh, we are in the private sector, yeah. where the um, research facilities and all are lacking, yes. we have a particular uh, interest mm -hmm. in studying the diseases pertinent to Kerala. Okay. My own uh, research interest, I am the currently the national president of the Indian Pancreas Club. Okay. So, I work on chronic pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. Yes. I had done a survey about this patient and uh, this uh, particular disease yeah. way back in 1992. Mm -hmm. And we have reported a lot about uh, pancreatic, this so called tropical pancreatitis leading on to pancreatic cancer and all, which is noted in the world literature now. Mm -hmm. So, similarly, we have identified some diseases mm -hmm. like uh, hepatitis B and C related diseases. Uh, apart from that, we had actually adopted a village okay. near Alway, West Kadungalur, with the help of the panchayat there, mm -hmm. and went on uh, doing a survey of the existing disease pattern of that, okay. which is never done in the state so far. We go to the houses, and we may even attend house calls like the old time, you know, yeah. uh, medical practice. Okay. So a family medicine center would be established with the help of the municipality here. We already started discussion about that. Okay. We have a family medicine postgraduate program. We have uh, DNB programs in many departments and uh, these people uh, who are passing out from our own center are willing to participate in this okay. program. So, we identify their uh, needs mm -hmm. and the disease pattern and depending on that, we intend to start a wellness solution center okay. in the new block. Okay. That is also for international patients that will also provide uh, facilities for uh, wellness solutions in the state okay. for our own people. So, we are actually charting out programs for that. So, we will move into the society, you know, mm -hmm. rather than be a high class uh, hospital to treat uh, diseases when they have occurred and then complicated and come at the last moment. As you said very correctly, we are intending to go into the within nearby vicinity. That's all what we can do as a private institution. Yeah. But I'm sure with the help of some agencies and government by the NRHM and all of yeah. that, I've already started uh, a discussion with the district collector here. He is very supportive. Okay. So we may extend this facility into the whole of Greater Cochin area. most of them do like Lakeshore to be their first preference of uh, getting treatment or medical help or anything. So, how is that achieved? Well, um, uh, I am glad to say that uh, Lakeshore has probably become a brand name yeah. in advanced uh, healthcare in the state. We are all uh, happy about that. 
Uh, it has become a household name, you know, in the last uh, nine years of our existence, which is something uh, appreciable and we are very glad about that. Um, I think the uh, USP of our institution is the uh, experts, medical expertise we provide. Okay. We have known names in each and every department. Okay. So they have a confidence that if they come here and we have the infrastructure facilities. Yes. So they get a diagnosis quick and based on that a treatment also quick. True. And we are known for the first services, you know, the, the whole world is now facing a problem of delayed medical treatment, True. especially in the West. Yeah. You know, people are coming just for a gallbladder surgery to India all the way from UK or Middle East yes. because they have severe pain. They know where to get an appointment. Hmm. In the UK, the GP, general practitioner has to see first, he has to refer to a specialist. Yes. Here anybody can step into our emergency service yes. and get the gallbladder stone out, you know, in 24 hours time. So, quick diagnosis and quick service. So, we are known for that. Okay. That is the major reason why people are flocking here. Then, as I told you, the faculty yes. is well known and the infrastructure facility is there. And fortunately, we have been able to uh, give a reasonable good service to the community. So, do you have any plans to expand Lakeshore or its facility to other parts of Kerala or India? Um, as I told you, we are in the process of expanding the base facility here, you know. We, we have now 360 beds which is more or less 100 percent occupied yeah. for the last one and a half years. Now, we are adding another 200 beds and the cancer center which was lacking. Yes. So, we will have about 38 clinical departments and nearly 175 doctors here. Okay. Once that is done, there is a lot of requests from inside Kerala and outside and also from Middle East countries. True. We have plans to establish uh, units in different parts of Kerala. Mm -hmm. We have more or less identified where it is needed and then provide facilities. Okay. That is our second phase. And then uh, finally, I have a plan to extend our services to the Middle East. Okay. Most of our, our uh, directors, the board, board directors are from Middle East. Mm -hmm. Many of them have facilities there. They can offer us space or infrastructure for us to, you know, start a feeder clinics. We may not go and uh, treat patients there. At least we can recruit patients and make it easy for those uh, who want to come from the Middle East. Mm -hmm. That includes the NRIs and the uh, locals there. Uh, quickly to Lakeshore. It is already happening, mm -hmm. but we may make an effort to uh, qualify the whole thing and then consolidate it. Okay. That is our plan. What are the challenges that you face in day to day life for like, <coughs> running such a big uh, hospital? Uh, any success is not uh, easily achieved, as you know. Uh, the biggest challenge I faced in uh, organizing this uh, uh, institution was the initial. Uh, problems, you know. Okay. I could uh, recruit eminent specialists because I knew all the people who were doing worthwhile medical practice in Kerala hmm. because I was, I have been uh, in Kerala since 1975 doing okay. my own practice. So, I knew whom to recruit and many people were actually getting suffocated in their small facilities. When they came to know that such a facility will come, they jumped into the wagon. Okay. So, that was no problem. The biggest problem was to organize bank loans. Okay. I still feel that now we are in a, posi in a, in a, in a good position, in a uh, sort of a, a pleasant situation where the major banks are coming after us True. to provide us the uh, loan for the next phase. Mm. But I remember those days when two or three doctors started thinking of a 50 crore or 100 crore project, nobody believed. That was in the 1995-96 uh, period. Um, I was uh, running from pillar to post. Finally, the government agencies helped me out. Uh, of course, the State Bank of India, I am ever grateful to that institution. They took the leadership. Then the KSIDC, Kerala State Industrial Development, I mean KSIDC uh, contributed, State Cooperative Bank of it, uh, contributed. And uh, collecting the sufficient funds was the next big thing. Unfortunately, with the vast contact we had, 
that also came through, you know, especially the NRI businessmen settled in Middle East. Some of them from USA also, but mostly from Middle East. Our chairman, Mr. M.A. Yusufili, you know, yes. he is the biggest uh, source of strength for us now. Mm. Uh, he joined uh, immediately after the whole thing took off. And uh, similarly, others also. So, right now, the financing is not a big problem. Mm. But that was the major problem we faced. So, I had to, you know, make trips to uh, okay. NRI destinations and uh, somehow it uh, materialized, you know. So, that was the main problem. Okay. Now, uh, we have about uh, 1,600 employees. Mm -hmm. uh, to keep them happy and, you know, take them forward is uh, the next big challenge. As you know, we had a uh, long nurse strike and all yes, here, which yes. has been amicably settled. Now everything is running very smooth. We have learned some lessons from that strike as well. Yes. So, uh, right now, things uh, look good and uh, we are in the path of uh, further expansion of our uh, program. And um, my own uh, a special interest for medical tourism. I am the mm -hmm. uh, currently the chairman of the healthcare subcommittee of Confederation of Indian Industry, okay. Kerala Council, mm -hmm. and we conducted three uh, international conferences and exhibitions mm -hmm. regarding medical tourism. Okay. This was uh, in association with the government of Kerala okay. and the Kerala Tourism Department okay. and CII. Okay. So we could bring under one umbrella all the major hospitals in Kerala, okay. especially those who are uh, NABH accredited. You know that now yeah. there is a national accreditation. Now this is one of the uh, early hospitals to be accredited. Now we are in the process of re-accrediting okay. that uh, facility, re-approving the, uh, the facility. So uh, altogether there is an awareness that Kerala may be a future healthcare destination of the globe. Yes. And uh, you must be knowing there are many healthcare uh, projects coming up to Cochin. True. So we are proud that we started the whole process of medical tourism in the country. Could you please tell us about your family? Oh yes, um, uh, my wife uh, Sissy. She's a homemaker. Okay. I have four children, uh, two sons and two daughters. My eldest son uh, Nibu is a software engineer. Now he's holding a senior position in the Broadcom company in Santa Clara, okay. US. And um, my second. Uh, she is a daughter, Minna. Mm -hmm. She is an artist, okay. and uh, she had her masters and all okay. from US. Mm -hmm. She is working with the well-known Paul Getty Museum in okay. Los Angeles. My third uh, child is uh, Dr. Suryak. Mm -hmm. We call him Abhi. Okay. He just completed his MD in medicine. So he just joined uh, Lakeshore Hospital staff, okay. but he'll be specializing in gastroenterology whenever the chance comes. Okay. And uh, my last child is a daughter, mm -hmm. uh, Amy. She is a violinist. Okay. Right now she is uh, in Berlin Free University mm -hmm. doing her post graduation masters in Western classical violin. Okay. She was for some time with the. Um, Symphony Orchestra of India in uh, uh, Bombay and also worked with A.R. Rahman. Oh, great. For some time. We have a small rapid fire round, quick answer to quick question. Yes. Sir. So, your birthday? First August. Your favorite food? Seafood, I like prawns. Your favorite holiday destination? Los Angeles. Your favorite pastime? So I uh, watch uh, current affairs on the TV. What makes you laugh? Simple wit in Malayalam cinema. What makes you cry? Whenever there is a success, you know, like creating a short. Okay. Yeah. Any one doctor that you really admire? No, professor Ahuja. He is no more. Okay. He was my uh, professor in all Indian School of Medical Science. He taught me medicine. Your favorite color? Black. Your role model? I cannot name one person. I have uh, learned from many sources. Uh, now, few questions about your wife. Her birthday? 6th of uh, January. Her favorite food? She also likes seafood. Her favorite color? Red. Her favorite dress? Only sari. One quality of hers that you really admire? Her tremendous patience. Okay. Sir, we have a small token of love from the whole team of Let's Talk and Rose Ball. Okay. okay sir. Thank you very much. And this is for your family. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.